Hey everyone, Tech Steve here. And if you haven't realized it, Amazon has entered the television business with this new series. This is called the Omni series and it's available from a 43 inch all the way up to 75 inch. So there's a lot of different sizes to be had. Now, this is not the full video where I'm gonna show you guys all the different contrast ratio and any of that stuff. I'm gonna get it out of the box and basically show you guys a walkthrough of the television with the features so you guys get a general idea of what this television's all about. But the first thing we need to do is get it out of the box. When you get everything out of the box, you're gonna see the feet, some screws to mount the feet onto the television, as well as a setup guide, the remote control, power cord, and this right here. This is what they call an IR blaster. Now what this is used for, you can sit it in front of cable boxes and any type of unit that the TV can program to, and you can uh, use the remote control to come to TV to send a signal through this like an IR blaster. Now I only have the 43 inch model, so I will tell you that it is made out of a lot of plastic, which shouldn't take away from the picture quality. And when I was mounting the feet on, the feet are also made out of plastic, but that was easy to screw on. On the bottom of all models, you're gonna find a eight watt by two audio amplifier, and it does support what they call Adobe Audio. In case you lose your remote control on the bottom of the television, there's a press button that allows you to turn the TV off and do some of the basic features. In addition to that, you can download the Amazon Fire application and you can use your smart device or tablet to control the TV as well. When it comes to remote control, it's easy to navigate. You have a power button on top as well as a microphone. You have your voice command, a number pad, and then you have the home button. It takes you back to your main screen no matter what you do on the television. Now at the bottom of it, you're gonna find hotkeys such as Amazon Prime, Netflix, but sometimes this can vary on which model you pick up. After doing some research, I couldn't figure out if these are IPS or VA panels, just not stated on the web, but if you guys have one or have a source, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. But when it comes to the technology of the picture profiles, the 43, the 50, and the 55 all supports HDR10 and HLG picture profiles. Now here's the thing, the 65 and the 75 inch supports not only HDR10, HLG, but it also supports Dolby Vision. So if you're the type of person who wanna get that more cinematic look, you definitely wanna go with the 55 or 65. Here's a look at the back panel on the 43 inch. You can see that it's not smooth all the way across and it does have indention on the back. And I will tell you that the TV is black in color. Now, when it comes to the 65 and 75 inch, those are actually in a metallic silver and the back panel on it looks completely different than the 43 inch television that I have today. One thing I would note here is that all these TVs use what they call direct lit backlights and it's a good or bad thing and I'll tell you why. The good thing is that usually it's a lot brighter and on some higher end model TVs, usually the uniformity of the gray and the white is gonna be better. The downsides of it is that the contrast is usually a little bit more washed out because you have all these lights behind it, so you're gonna lose some black levels. In addition to that, the TVs are a lot thicker, but you do get better audio. And the last thing about direct backlights is that you don't have the option to do local dimming. So for people who really like to watch TV in the dark, it's gonna have a little bit more of a gray haze to it versus a true black. Take a look at the frameless television. It appears to be nice and clean and the bezels don't stick out too much, except whenever you look at the television from the side view, you can see that it does have direct lit backlights. Even though the feet on this particular model is made out of plastic, they still look premium just because they have that glossy coat. But I will tell you the larger TVs have a metal feet to hold the weight of the television. On the top of the television, there's four microphones for the direct voice command. So you don't have to use the remote control to give it commands. And on the bottom of it, there's a switch that you can toggle over to turn the microphone off for extra privacy. When it comes to connectivity, you have every input that you need, but keep in mind, this is a 60 Hertz panel. You can find an ethernet connection for your router, four HDMIs with one bin eARC, an ATSC 2.0 tuner, one USB, the input for the meter that I showed you guys earlier, plus it does have a headphone output and a fiber optic output for going over to an audio system. 
All right, guys, so this is the end of this video, but I will say my first impression is that if you are a hardcore gamer or video file, this may not be for you. Just been honest with you guys. Um, I think it's for someone who has an Amazon account, wants to keep everything connected, um, someone who wants something easy to use, and they're okay with a okay picture. Uh, the next video I'm gonna do, we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you guys the contrast ratio. We're gonna listen to the audio, and we're gonna look at a little bit more what the TV has to offer. But that's my first impression so far, and I have did a few tests here, but uh, I'm not gonna give you guys a spoiler alert. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you wanna see that video. And I do have some cool surprises coming up in the future, as well as live streaming. That's coming soon. So I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace! Tech Steve.